Hello everyone, the TV Rambles back. Here are the, uh, as I promised you, the quick overnight ratings from last night. Uh, let's see, NBC, uh, Fox uh, finished the night number one in both the total viewer category as well as with the 18 to 49 crowd. Uh, they did about a 17 million viewers uh, for their network, obviously all helped by the uh, Cowboys and Detroit Lions playoff game, which ended about 7.50 uh, Eastern time. Uh, um, and of course, they, then they did the OT, their pregame show, and went on until the start of their am, animation domination uh, comedy block that they do. Um, again, uh, 17 million viewers overall for the network, uh, followed by CBS, 9.4 million viewers, then NBC with 6.5 million viewers, and then ABC with 5.3. Now, the big news last night was, of course, both shows, the season, the series premiere of Gallivant, the medieval sitcom with uh, with guest appearances by John Stamos and comedian Ricky Gervais and a uh, comedian slash singer uh, Weird Al Yankovic um, that did about uh, seven million eight about eight million viewers. Now we'll see whether ABC keeps it. You know, I don't know if the show looks somewhat silly to me, um, but you know. We'll see how, how that goes, whether they're going to stay with it or is it just a sort of a thing just to have until Once Upon a Time um, comes back on the air uh, later on. Um, also, the big news, of course, last night was the series premiere of Celebrity Apprentice, which, you know, again, another show that's getting long in the tooth, um, like some of these other reality shows, you know, um, you know, I, I'm not I'm not a big Trump fan. I mean, when the first year it came on, when you had regular people in it, it was interesting. And then you had the likes of you know Amoroso and some just regular you know regular everyday people who, who became famous and who really that's sort of the basis of, of that show was. And now with these celebrity apprentice shows and and whatnot, it, it's just getting long in the tooth. But again, it's just filler for NBC. You know, right now pretty much their season is really. Now I say not over, but there's some, you know, they still got one more uh, big event coming up for them, and that is, of course, the Super Bowl, um, February 1st. And after the game, they'll have the uh, um, the uh, second, when I say, but part two of season two of uh, the Blacklist, uh, which will make its uh, premiere right after um, uh, after the game. So. NBC should win the night, but overall, I think they know after that, you know, it's going to be pretty much down for the network on Sunday nights. And so it's just filler, just programming just to keep them, you know, to say, hey, we've got something going. We know we're not going to get the highest ratings, but, you know, let's just put something out there and see what happens. Uh, outside of that, not much else really. Um, as uh, what's going on tonight on television, you know, all new episodes. Of course, The Bachelor, the new one, which will make its debut. Um, so they'll, people will tune into that. You know, still, you know, a very popular show. Another show that's also showing its age, but continues to be something that ABC has, you know, depends on and really gives them a, a dependable show. Let's put it that way. You know, that is not a highest rated show, but, you know, still a dependable show, you know, and brings in a certain, you know, viewers, you know, female viewers and Still fascinated by it. Um, of course, uh, that uh, will pretty much take over the entire night of ABC's programming. CBS, Two Broke Girls, Mike and Molly, Scorpion, and NCR Los Angeles, all new episodes. Then you got Celebrity Apprentice, uh, two-hour block, then State of Affairs, which um, a big hit now for NBC. And I kind of understand why NBC is leaving it there, you know, giving it the support it needs. And so far, so good. Um, and of course, moving the blacklist on Thursday, which I felt, you know, I don't know how they're going to maintain, uh, Thursday nights. I think ABC has that night locked in, but you know, uh, uh, but NBC feels that, you know, you know, let's just say, hey, let's just give it a shot and see what happens. Um, also Fox Gotham Sleepy Hollow. Uh, I think the both shows continue to do well for both Fox um, more, more so Sleepy Hollow after its second season, showing that hey, this is not no, you know, freshman one-hit wonder. This is a very good show, very good, well-written show, and uh, has a, a huge following with the younger uh, set. So that is what's pretty much on the horizon for this evening in terms of television viewership. Outside of that, right now, 
not much else really going on um, TV wise uh, you can see NBC is planning um, a big telecast for the gold for the uh, Golden Globes coming up on Sunday um, you're gonna see a lot you'll have live arrivals and of course you'll have some of the um, uh, the folks from the Today Show will be involved in that on Sunday evening. Of course, the show is going to be live all, across all time zones, uh, starting at 7 Eastern, 6 Central, uh, 4 Pacific. So that is the, uh, you know, one of the award shows that, you know, very entertaining, you know, very low. It's, it's the, you have the TV crowd and you have the TV and the movie side all in one area and, and, the mingling, the interaction, um, it, it makes it makes it for an entertaining show, and you know, um, and it's one of probably the most lively shows, and most upbeat shows compared to some of the other ones, um, like the Grammys or the Oscars or or the Tonys. So, um, look forward to that. And of course, will be hosted by uh, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler. Of course, they're back again hosting the show, so that should be fun. Um, the other big news, of course, is the. Um, uh, the other big news is, of course, is the WWE uh, coming to an end, coming to uh, to the UK and Ireland. Um, so far, the show, the network has not done well here in the states. You know, for whatever the reason, I was, you know, when the first talk of doing it, I was like, you know, well, hmm, I don't know. You know, we'll see. Um, but. You know, I think what they've had going on with their relationship with USA before was working out. But, um, hey, you know, start your own network. Do what you got to do. You know, there, there's a, a there's a audience out there for uh, for professional wrestling having its own network. Then, you know, God bless them. But, um, you know, I haven't followed wrestling in a long, long time. And I don't know what's going on in professional wrestling. But, uh, again, there's an audience for that. So. Um, so we'll see where it goes on from there. But, uh, again, that's about it. I said, I'll give you the overnight ratings and, uh, there you go. So, uh, anything news wise comes up, I will let y'all know, and I will be back tomorrow with the latest TV news. Enjoy TV viewing.